We are back today with a palette of items we haven't seen for a while on this YouTube channel. The box is singing to me. So, what we got is one palette with five huge boxes on it. We've got a toys palette. So hopefully this toys palette ends up being maybe some cool collectibles, maybe some Lego stuff. That's my honest goal whenever I buy toy palettes is I want cool collectibles, action figures, Legos, stuff like that. Because it sells insanely well and certain things I might keep sometimes. So the total MSRP on these five boxes is $1,609. What I paid was $188. So you know what? That's not bad at all. I like that. A little bit over 10%, but it's okay. Because at $188, I'm still going to make some cash. Still going to make some money no matter what on this palette once I resell everything. So I haven't done toys in this channel for maybe it's been a month. Maybe longer than that. It's I haven't bought toys for a while because I think... Back in March, I think in February and March, I think I did a lot of toy palettes. I did a lot. And I just wanted to take a little break from toys for a little while. And that's what I did. I think it has been at least six weeks, I bet. Maybe close to two months with no toys. So, this is going to be a treat for me. This is going to be a treat for the viewers to let's walk back down memory lane. And let's see what kind of toys I get. And with toys... You know that there's a possibility to get out the snot sucker, to get out the gas passer, get out the mom washer. Nothing says toy palette like getting out the snot sucker. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this palette's going to be fun. Toys are always fun to go through because at heart, we're all still, you know, a kid at heart, honestly. doesn't matter how old you are, you still have that kid inside of you. Mine's in me. Mine comes out a lot. And I'm okay with that because I'm just a big kid half the time, you know? So anyway, here we go. First thing. Ah, uh, we have a very damaged box. But we have a sewing machine. And it's missing all the accessories. It does have a little pad. So something like this in this condition, honestly, not that expensive. But I could sell this thing locally for an easy probably about 10 bucks on this. Something's singing in here still. But here we got this, uh, is this the gun? Yeah, this is the baby gun elephant doll. The ears flap and it sings whenever there's batteries in it. If I press it, it might flap and sing for like a minute straight. But I usually sell these things in used condition for about 20 bucks. New, they're I think they're like 35 new. But 20 bucks as long as it, it works, it's about 20 bucks. What is in here singing to me? I don't see it yet. So here we have loose package, uh, Fisher Price, Bright Beats Junior Beatbo. You're not the one singing to me, are you? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Looks like he needs batteries. But this little thing. The big one sells for decent money, but this little small one, honestly, like I sell it for like five bucks, maybe. Let's see. I might have to keep this actually. We have a knee brace by Moeller. It says it fits right or left, regular. Hmm. I might have to keep this. Or I probably I might need actually the larger, extra large size. Maybe. I don't see the actual sign. It just says regular. So. Oh, regular is like the small. There's regular, large, extra large. So yeah, I can't wear the regular. That'd be, that'd be too small for me. But yeah, this thing's nice. I bet that probably sells for 20, 30 bucks. So I bet. That's not bad. That's kind of strange. That's in a toy palette though. You'll always get those kind of items in no matter what palette. Because I could have bought like a food palette with food returns and you can get this in your food palette no joke it can happen we got a couple of baby sippy cups i sell this for like a buck a piece usually pretty cheaply dog paw pad protection here we go we got some dog stuff in a toy palette and it's still factory sealed still but paw protection pads 
factory sealed? Price like 10 bucks, I bet. Here's this. Nope, that's the singing thing. Found it. Shh. Does that turn it off? There we go. Now it's off. We got a singing little baby thing, a baby Einstein. Looks like it hangs up and then it sings to the baby. Probably like five bucks of it. Not a whole lot. Then we have. Is this one of those things that like walks up walls or something? Whatever it is, it is broken. Here's like a leg of it that's off of it. So I think whatever is inside this thing, it's it's kind of damaged. So that might end up just going trashed or just be donated, you know, to see if anybody wants it. Not factory sealed, it's just poly bagged by Amazon. Missed. But Forbidden Island. Uh, is this an expansion pack? Doesn't look like it. Some of these fancy games like this can actually go for some pretty decent money at times. But I'm going to have to go through and make sure all the pieces are in there. And it's factory taped by Amazon Warehouse Deals. So it might be good. I don't know. I'll have to figure out how much it's worth because I really don't know. It makes sure the pieces are there for. If the pieces aren't there, if there's missing some, you can piece out those expensive games. Like, people need replacement pieces and cards for their games. So you can still... Even if it's missing something, you can still piece that thing out. Sometimes it may give them more money than if you sold it as just like a whole game. Magnetic letters and numbers. A whole big tub of them. About 10 bucks on that. iPad compatible 2-in-1 mirror. Oh. Strange. J.J. Cole is the brand. What? A two-in-one mirror, iPad compatible. I guess I'm just having a brain fart, understanding what this thing really does. I guess the baby just looks back at himself, but can also... Oh, two-in-one mirror, so the game pad can actually show through it, I guess. I don't know. Packages on the things all beat up. That probably can't sell for too much. It probably doesn't. Let's see, bamboo waterproof changing pad liner. Six pack. Eh, it's been retaped up. So it's just a changing pad liner for babies. Um, a lot of the baby stuff, I've been donating it to friends of mine who have the youngins. So, because uh, I've been having trouble trying to sell baby stuff. So I've actually been donating a lot of it and just giving away to like friends of mine who, who actually need the baby stuff. So that, I might actually end up giving that away. Ooh, what's this? Cool. Collectibles, collectibles. We got a RoboCop action figure made by the company M-A-F-E-X, Mafex. Licensed by MGM, Medicom Toy Corporation. So this is a licensed uh, company. Then it says, Medicom Toy Official Website. Medicom and Bear, BearBrick.com. So it looks like whoever made this is also a part of BearBrick. Okay, this is really cool. This is really cool. It actually might have some value to it. Let me look that up. This actually might have a little bit of value. Get some of the collectible toy, because this would be considered a collectible toy. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to look this up on the Amazon Seller app. Let's see what kind of prices we're looking at. Because honestly, I'm just kind of curious too. Okay, I found it on Amazon. Looks like it sells new for $74 new. It has been opened up one time, but it looks like it's complete. It's new. This looks like somebody broke the factory seal on it. So it just sells new for $70. And on Amazon, it sells... Like nobody's selling it used. So it sells new for $74. I could easily, just because the piece of tape here was cut, I, I could probably easily get about 55, 60 bucks for this collectible toy. So we did get a collectible toy. I like that. Thank goodness. That's awesome. Always love getting out the collectibles and the Legos out of my toy pallets. That's why I buy them for cool stuff like this. Seriously, this is awesome. That'll sell very, very easily. And low key, I kind of want to keep it though. That's cool. Got a dog leash, like five bucks on that. Ooh, it's Harry Potter, 
Hogwarts Battle, a cooperative deck building game. This could have some value to it. This is one of those fancier games. Let me see how much this thing costs on eBay using the seller app. I mean, Amazon. On Amazon, it sells new for $45.98, so it sells new for $46. So since it's not factory, so it's been opened up, I have to check, make sure the pieces are there. But I bet you could probably easily get like, what, 25, 30 bucks for this game, I bet. I bet I could. Harry Potter stuff right now, if you resell, Harry Potter stuff is hot. It's been hot for a long time. It's never cooled off. Harry Potter stuff sells. Sells quickly. People buy it. Non-stop. New or used, it's being sold. So that's awesome. That's a great item. Ooh, what's... I see something that I'm going to have to keep in here. <laughs> we'll, we'll save it for last. Something, there's another really cool collectible toy in here that I'm, I'm going to keep. There's, 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 there's no way around it. We've got some baby liners. Actually, I probably will donate these to a uh, friend of mine. We have, ooh, this is one of those fancy leashes. One of those fancy ones. Flexi, giant, 26 foot tape. There's a lot of dogs, there are pet stuff in this first toy box. But yeah, that's probably good 20 bucks, I bet. Maybe even more net. Then we have, this is Melissa and Doug splash cards. I got several in there, different ones. Water, wow. Yeah, that's probably good. Looks like they're still sealed too. Probably 10 bucks each. So about 20 bucks there. Here's the last item in box one that I said I'm probably going to keep. Are you ready? Two collectible toys in a collectible Harry Potter game in the first box. Look at this. Look at that. That is awesome. We got the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 made by Hollywood Rides Metal Diecast. This is actually a good company. Their uh, metal rides aren't cheap either. And it's still factory sealed. The factory seal is on both sides. Looks like it got liquidated because the top of it, it's dusty. Looks like in the Amazon warehouse, something accidentally punctured the top of the packaging. And that's why they liquidated it, because Amazon will liquidate damaged package items. This is still factory sealed on both sides. It's never been opened. It just has a little damage to the top of the packaging. So, yeah, this, this is cool. But, I'm curious how much this thing actually sells for. But yeah, I'm 99% sure I'm, I'm actually going to keep this. That is so cool. So it looks like it sells new for... It's not that much. I wonder why. So it sells new on Amazon for only $11. But you go to eBay, it sells new on eBay between $20, 20 to $25 on eBay. So, okay, this is a good example of selling platforms. Some online platforms will sell more than others. Sometimes if you list an item on eBay, it could sell for 10. You listen on Amazon, it could sell for 20, vice versa. Certain people only like shopping on certain websites. So this sells for only $11 on Amazon, but eBay it sells for double that, which is crazy. Prime example of just because you know a person might say, I found this on Amazon for 10 bucks, 11 bucks, that's all I'm gonna pay for. I'll be like, well, it sells on eBay for 20 to 25. So I'll sell it on eBay instead, you know? get twice the money for it anyway so i'm saying this is a prime example of the differences with online then if you looked at walmart walmart might have this thing for like 15 bucks you look at another toy place they might have it for 18 dollars. prices can be all over the board depending on the websites but yeah if it only sells new for 11 on amazon and 20 ish on ebay i'm gonna keep it definitely now because it doesn't sell for enough for me to actually sell it and i love this thing it's freaking awesome so anyway that's it for box number one Box number one was super fun. I'm already loving this palette. So let's box this up because I got a mound here. I'll be right back. Box number two. So far, man, this has been fantastic. I know most palettes will have a couple like good big ticket items and um, the Robocop was cool, but it was only like what, around 50? The Ecto car was only, you know, 10, 20. So it has to be probably 
at least another like bigger ticket item in here above probably the Robocop price. Probably, no guarantee though. First we got a breast milk bags by Nuck. Yeah, they're still still new. Nuck bags is probably, I don't even, I, I'm not good on some baby prices like this. I don't know how much that costs, honestly. I don't know. It might get donated though. And here we have a little play play pad with like a little marker thing. I still think it's like five bucks. Not a whole lot. Two sash, sashes inside. And it says, mother of the groom, mother of the bride. So, wedding stuff for the mother of the groom and mother of the bride. Not much on that. Oh, a uh, training potty seat. I don't mess much with this stuff. Sell it pretty cheaply too. Play-Doh kitchen. Open package item. That's neat though. Easy sell. I'll probably get five, eight bucks for it or so. We have a Bretex. This is probably a liner for probably a stroller or for a seat more than likely. It's kind of what it looks like. But a lot of this baby stuff I sent, I've been donating a bunch of it lately. Let's see, this is, looks like this little sleeping bag for a child. You got the zipper that goes all around it. So child sleeping bag, more than likely it's been used because it's probably bagged by Amazon. Um, I'd sell a thing of like five bucks or so. VTech digital audio monitor. You get a lot of these in, in, in liquidation. You get a bunch of these. I think half the thing is because people have baby showers and they might get four or five of these at their baby shower. So they return Amazon and then they get liquidated. But I sell these things. It's been opened up, it's not factory sealed. But I usually sell these things used for about 12 to $15 in that range, depending on how many I have. I think that's the only one I have right now. So I'll probably, probably price it more towards a 15 to see if I can sell it. Okay, this one is still factory sealed. Yep, same thing it goes with this. This is a highly returned item. They almost always work though, but same thing. I think just has to do with baby showers. People getting multiples of the same thing, so they return it. Still factory sealed. Yeah, this is a good 20, 25 bucks right there. Still a brand new. Another baby item, Kindy. This one has been opened up. Uh, Kindy's, what is this? New, it's like 30, used like 15 to 20. So, still not bad. Not, not, not a bad item though. Well, we have a pair of, what is this? Baby safety, MD, MDB family cares about your babies. It has to do with the baby. Oh, this goes to a, a crib mattress cover. Yeah, that'll probably be, probably be donated more than likely. Do you? Oh, elbow pads or, or knee pads, just like one set. So like five bucks on that. It was probably supposed to have both, I bet. But still, it's it's sellable. Then we have a, man, the packaging's on this thing's crunched. Another Amazon warehouse damaged item. It's brand new, but the packaging got crunched in storage. Everything in it is still tied down completely. Just the packaging, yeah. But yeah, this is, uh, what brand is it? Click and Play is the brand? Never heard of that brand. 10, 10, $12, not a whole lot. Then we have two things left in this one. That's different. We have a little suction cup under your car. Put your phone on there to connect it. That's random. I'll be putting this into one of my mystery boxes. And yeah. Here we got a Cool Beans Baby. Hmm. Kind of feels like clothes. No matter what, I probably will donate this more than likely. But yeah, that's it for box number two. A lot of baby stuff in box two. A lot of baby stuff. Well, let's get back with a new box. Third box. Let's get back to some cool toys and collectibles now. Hopefully box two was like the baby box for this palette. Hopefully we're, we've seen the end of the baby stuff. But it's liquidations. You never know. First, we got a VTech toy. 
great seller. Anything VTEC, it sells quick. It works. So this is still factory sealed. It's actually been polybagged by Amazon for storage. So that's probably a good 12 bucks on that. Looks like we've got two from this brand called Boone. The packaging on this thing is water damaged. Both of them are water damaged. So I won't sell these things for very much because of the water damaged packaging or I'll just end up donating them. Let's see. Uh, looking for something cool. Uh, not really seen it in this box. Oh, this is a... Looks like just like a bag or something. Some of this stuff, it takes me uh, after the video to go through stuff, open it up, and really figure out what everything is. But wherever it is, this thing will be very expensive. It looks like a bag, like a duffel bag thing, more than likely. This is something cool. We got a Kitty Zoom by VTech. You got the charger there and the camera. I think it's in backwards though. But that's a good. 20 bucks right there? Unless prices that thing have dipped. Sometimes they have. This is another one? We got another one of them. It's just there's no packaging. It has a charger for it still. That's probably about 15, 12 without the packaging, I'm guessing. Oh, are these uh foosball? Yeah. They are a set of foosballs for a foosball table. 14 pack set of foosballs. I used to have a foosball table. Never played it. Had it for like a decade. And like I played it like I think two times ever. And eventually I sold it. I think in a yard sale. Years ago. Yeah. Foosball table balls. Leap start. Four book pack. One, two, three. It is missing one of the books. So that's going to be a hard sell since it's missing one of the four books. It's still sellable though. But I have to look up prices to kind of gauge what that might sell for. Uh oh, we have a Funko Pop of Thor. Looks just like me too. Just like me. I should say. Well, not too much like me because this one, his face is broken. Thor, what did you do? Thor. Well, first of all, the, the yeah, packaging has been destroyed, but his face, <laughs> Thor's face, is broken. It's literally, his face is cracked. How did that, is, this really got crunched, either in storage or shipping, and literally it broke his face. Literally. Poor Thor. Hmm. I won't pitch him though. I'll just, I'll pitch the box. And I'll just put this, actually I might try to just glue his, <laughs> just try to glue his face back. See if I can get it to stay. Just try, try to glue his face back. And I'll put Thor somewhere. He could be like one of my official mascots. The God of Thunder. Okay. I think his head's kind of damaged too, because it like it sits low. I think the spring got bent whenever it got crunched. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna have to reshape his whole head. <laughs> okay, Thor, you be good. So this package on this thing is just it is trashed. So yeah, I just pitch the packaging. That just destroyed. Next, so that's cool though. That's it's a collectible, crunch collectible, but it's a collectible. We got Dots Junior, Hot Junior Dots, seventy-two number counting activities on thirty-six double-sided cards. I think it might be missing some of the cards. Unless there's thirty-six there. If they're all there, it's factory sealed still. But I have to look, research that. Holds the strap out of the way for the baby. Cool item. 
Pine out's more like five bucks or donation. Disney baby. Cool, cool. So we got bears on that. Looks like this the uh Winnie the Pooh. Tigger. Yeah. That's cool. Classic Pooh Musical Mobile. From birth to five months. Music box plays Bram's lullaby. That's probably a good 20 bucks right there, especially since it's Disney. Wow. Look at that packaging. Look at that packaging on that. That packaging is just gone. Yeah, I won't even sell this. That'll just... Might go to my donation stack, maybe. That's bad. I can't sell anything in that kind of shape. It, it makes me look bad selling something that's in that bad of shape. Two one simple serve a bottle warmer. Good 10, 15 bucks on that. Two things left. Dishwasher basket for baby stuff. That's cool. I've never sold this before. That might be like 10 bucks or so. Or I might donate it. We'll see. Here we have the uh, warmer uh, wipes. So this thing I've been selling, uh, what is it, like $18 when I, every time I get these things, but that's like 18 bucks. I'm pretty sure that's what I sell them for. But yeah, that's it for box three. Uh, I'll be right back. Number four. Come on, good stuff. Ooh, what is that? First thing on top. DC Bombshells Vixen. Numbered limited edition also. I think my hands are broken pieces on it. I'm gonna check it out. This I know is probably gonna be expensive. A lot of these, um, looks like a porcelain statue. Most of these can get, can get pricey. Some can go like the Batman and Jokers. I've actually sold some before like over a hundred bucks so DC, DC bombshell one I think I've sold before of Harley Quinn for like 75 or 80 and it was in like new condition and if they are broken lots of times you can fix them because porcelain is very easy to glue back together uh, it's literally like you can't even hardly even tell but I always inform the buyer though that it has been fixed let's see what's this look like and is it broken Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Has like a sparkly base to it. So far, I don't see anything broken on it. Oh, I do see. Okay. One, her middle finger on this hand is broken. And then the pointer finger on this hand is broken. But you, can, you can't even tell hardly, though. Then it has the base to it. You can put it onto the base. Attaches like right here. Then it should be displayed like that. This one is numbered. Don't fall. This one's numbered. Man, whoever wrote this has horrible handwriting. Maybe 006 out of 5,000 or. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost <sighs> that's bad maybe it's an awkward nine? Oh, six out of five anyway it's numbered out of five thousand only made the person actually hand wrote the number on it and I can't even make it out but there's a six on on, on the end so it's numbered out of only five thousand made but two of the fingers are broken off one on each hand Oh, right here is one of the loose fingers. I can see it. It is so small. I wanted to get some tweezers to pull it out so I don't lose it. Oh, here's like a nameplate for it, looks like. Vixen. The other finger, I don't see it. So I can not fix one of the fingers, but honestly, the way it's, it sits, the way it's posed, you can't even tell it has a broken finger on it. Like, seriously, like you have to really look on it. I mean, so much does this thing cost if it was new and not, you know, missing the middle finger? Oh, this is an 
Entertainment Earth exclusive DC Comics bombshell Vixen statue. It sells new for $86.97. Wow. It sells new for pretty much $87 new condition. But this one is, uh, it's never been displayed because everything's all wrapped up. But the middle finger's missing and the pointer finger's missing. I have one of the fingers that I can attach back to it. So we'll be missing like one finger. I think it's actually the middle finger's the one that's missing. But this thing's nice. I could probably still get about half for this. I could probably still get about, about 40 bucks for it. Because honestly, you can't even tell that a finger is missing because they're so small. And the way the hand is like shape you can't even tell but anyway i'll quit rambling about this but this is cool though that's a cool collectible almost perfect but that's still very very sellable that will still make make me some money i'd say probably make at least 40 bucks for it but the first person that offers me like 25 or 30 i'll probably take it just because it's missing a finger but that's that's awesome though so we've got now a collectible RoboCop, the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 car, and now a DC Bombshells porcelain statue of Vixen. This is a good pal so far. Oh, I see a Lego. We got a heater warmer thing for wipes again. That's like $18. Rubik's Race. Cool little game. That's about, I've not sold this thing before. I think I sold it for like five, six dollars. Didn't sell for very much. Step stool. Literally, that's you know, matter of dollars. Pacifier. Looks to be sealed still, but pacifier. Probably donate the pacifier. But here we have the first Lego item. And it is still factory sealed. But the box has been a little bit crunched. Box has a little bit of issues, but the but it's never been opened up yet. Still, it is still sealed. Let me see how much this Batman sells for. If it was like brand new, not lightly damaged packaging, Ew, only sells for fifteen dollars and sixty-five cents new on Amazon. Man, that stinks. This thing is almost not even shippable because I can only sell for probably about ten ten bucks because of the box damage. But then you got to pay shipping for it, and by the time you pay me the 10 plus shipping, you could just buy it brand new from Amazon for like $16, $15 shipped. So this is probably something that I sell locally. It won't be shippable. I'll just sell it for like 10 bucks, you know. Next, we got a Jack in the Box. Uh, it doesn't catch and keep it shut. I'll have to tinker with this thing to see if I can fix it. But it needs, the little latch needs adjusted on it. But it's a Disney baby, princess, uh, or, or um, Ariel from Little Mermaid. It's probably a good 10 bucks if I can fix it. And we have Doc McStuffins. Looks like the packaging on this thing is loose. That's why they put a bag on to keep everything in. But as long as it's all there, it's probably a good 10 bucks on Doc McStuffins. Oh, baby. Oh, like it's arm wrist for a baby. Like, ooh, there's stained yellow though. We'll just pitch that. So here we got some beads and like a little purse holder thing. Got five bucks on that. Two things left. We got a brand new thing of pacifiers. More than likely I will donate those. We got a Melissa and Doug. 48 piece floor puzzle. Most floor puzzles I sell for like five bucks. This is Melissa and Doug, so it'll probably be more like eight dollars for the floor puzzle. That's it for this box. We only have one box left, and so far we've got out some cool stuff. We've got out some collectibles and one Lego, and that's what I was hoping for is some cool collectibles and Lego. And what was the other thing I said? Something else. I don't remember. Action figures. The Robocop was kind of an action, it was an action figure and a collectible, so be right back. Last box, box number five. So, I mean, so far it hasn't been insanely profitable, but I am in profit and uh, haven't been that bad so far. There's a lot of baby stuff though. Sometimes they, they Liquid Air likes to put in like baby stuff just to like fill your boxes up. And it, whenever they do that, kind of stinks. But first thing on top in this box, 
We've got a Lego! Star Wars Lego! Uh, let's see, what is, which one is it? It's a A-Wing versus Tyson. It's a micro fighter. It's still factory sealed. Box has a little bit of damage right here. From, it looks like a piece of tape. But yeah, the, the, it's still sealed because you have to punch this out to open it up. Let's see how much this bad boy sells for. This one sells new for $23 on Amazon. Still factory sealed. The box is, it's like 8 out of 10 condition. Has a few little minor damage on, on the box. A little bit of tear right here. But I still sell this thing for probably like, I try to get it locally for like $15. But online it'd be like 15 plus shipping. That's not bad, so like 15 bucks on that. Let's see, we got a ray shade for a baby stroller. It's good 10 bucks on that. Oh, cool. We got we got a Captain America. There we go. Give me some of that Marvel love. It's actually from the Legends series, too. Missed. The package of this thing is kind of needs fixing. Let's see what Steve Rogers looks like. Make sure he's not broken. Come on, Captain. This actually is in the new uh, uniforms that they wore in games. So this is for the newest in game movie, actually. He's not. Oh. Steve Rogers is missing his left. Foot. <laughs> it's not in there. It's somebody straight tore his foot off. Man, that stinks. Sorry about that, buddy. You have been foot decapitated. Can't get a shield on him. But since he's missing his foot, if I forgot to get the shield on, I actually will just keep. Captain America because I can still put him on something just as a as a display have him like sitting on something or something but yeah I'll I'll keep him I, I can't if, if I sold him it pretty much be for just a matter of dollars because he's missing his foot and it's like broken off it's not fixable but yeah I'm gonna keep Steve Rogers next oh they're Lego Lego factory sealed. And this box on this one is in really good shape. This one would sell for pretty much full price. We got Batman, the Joker Batcave attack. Lego Juniors, that one's cool. Let's see what this one costs. This one sells new for 20 bucks. It has a super low rank on it. I mean, this thing would sell almost immediately. It sells new for 20 bucks. And honestly, I'm gonna try to sell this thing for 20 bucks. I'll try to sell it locally first, since I'm having really good luck selling locally right now. If I can't get 20 bucks for it locally, then uh, I would turn to online and uh, see what I could get for it, but pretty sure I can get 20 bucks for this locally pretty easily. More than likely. Anyway, let's keep going. Baby Jogger. That's about 10, $12 for that. We got a puzzle. Still factory sealed. I sell these things for like five bucks for most puzzles. Just kind of like a flat fee of five bucks. We got a Halloween costume. Oh, it's a Minnie Mouse. A Minnie Mouse costume. I'll sell this thing on a Halloween here in a few months. Probably just get like 10, 10 bucks for it or so. Oh, we got a Halo Halloween costume now. With the Halo mask. Pretty nice mask. It's, 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 it's like a harder mask too. In the full costume, Halloween time, about 10 bucks. I won't sell it yet. I'll wait till Halloween, put it in my stack of costumes that I'm saving back for Halloween time. We have a pet set. Oh, we got a dog, dog chew toy, looks like. Yeah, donation for that. Two things left. This one's brand new, still factory sealed. So another baby shower return on this. Good 20 bucks on, on, on that one. And we got the last item from this five box palette. Choice refill. Okay, it's been retaped. It's not a factory tape job. So let's open up the retape job, see what's in here. It says it's refill, so it probably has to do like baby wipes or something. Oh no, it's for uh, uh what is it? 
it's liners for what is it trash can or something something like that it's it's like liners one was opened up these are still new on this one there's a barcode let's see how much each individual one actually sells for oh it's a pet seven layer bags is it for like to scoop out poop or something i don't know but it's it is no longer sold on amazon they they've stopped selling it i guess that's why i got liquidated but yeah, I have to look these up for how much this thing sell for, but it's probably like what, maybe two, three bucks a piece. This box is four of them, so not bad. Anyway, that's what we got. That is the entire five box palette. All in all, it wasn't bad. I got out uh, three Lego sets, either three or four Lego sets. They're all factory sealed. Got out a broken Captain America. Where are you at, Steve Rogers? Oh, that's kind of funny. So I got out a Captain America that is broken missing his foot i got out a thor where <laughs> his face is cracked <laughs> kind of funny we got two avengers and both of them are battle damaged i think uh thor has it worse because with that kind of a cracked face i don't think he'd survive steve rogers could survive thor i don't think you would survive that kind of a head wound so two broken Avengers figures. Then we did get that Robocop figure that was brand new. Ecto-1 Ghostbusters car. I'll probably keep that. Maybe, maybe not. And then that DC statue of Vixen. So it wasn't too bad of a palette. We got some cool stuff. I was hoping for collectibles, action figures, and Legos. And we got them. Probably close to 10 or 12 of them. We got them. Some are broken, but we got them. And a crap ton of baby stuff. So I'll move some baby stuff. I'll donate some baby stuff. In the end, it'll all work out. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. This was fun. I haven't done toys. It's, it's been a while. And I, I need to buy some more toys because this was fun. I enjoy doing toy palettes. They're fun. So, I'll see you next time. Stay tuned. I have videos every single day. And also, I have a brand new YouTube channel that I'm starting. YouTube channel is completely live videos. People have asked to see me do palettes live. I'm going to do it on a brand new YouTube channel. So I'm going to leave a direct link below. Right now the channel's blank as of right now, today, that the publishing of this video. But I'll be launching the new channel within the next couple weeks. So go ahead if you want to. So subscribe to it now. Get ahead of the curve. And once it goes live, the channel goes live, you're already subscribed. So that channel will be completely, as of right now, completely live videos. Live unboxings. Live palette breaking live podcasts, live one-on-one -on -one chats. It's going to be fun. Brand new channel starting from scratch. I'll see you soon. I'm out.